This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com. Snowball sampling is where research participants recruit other people for a test or study. It's called snowball sampling because, in theory, once you have the ball rolling, it picks up more momentum along the way. It's used where people are hard to find, and it is a non probability sampling method. It doesn't have the probabilities involved with, say, simple random sampling, where the odds are the same for any particular participant being chosen. Rather, you'll use your own judgment to choose participants. Snowball sampling consists of two steps. Identify potential subjects in the population. Often, you'll only find one or two people initially. Ask those people to recruit others and then ask others to recruit some more. Participants should be made aware they don't have to provide any other names. These steps are repeated until you get your required sample size. Snowball sampling can be a tricky ethical path to navigate. You'll want to be in contact with an institutional review board or another department similarly involved in ethics. It's used because some people just may not want to be found. For example, if a study was investigating cheating on exams, shoplifting, drug use, prostitution, or another kind of unacceptable social behavior, candidates might be wary of coming forward because of possible ramifications. However, other people in the study would likely know other people in the same situation as themselves and could inform others about the benefits of the study and reassure them of confidentiality. A big advantage is it allows for studies to take place when otherwise it might be impossible to conduct because of a lack of participants. It might also help you discover characteristics about a population that you weren't even where existed. A major disadvantage, it is usually impossible to determine the sampling error or make inferences about populations based on the obtained sample. Thanks for checking in and I'll see you in the next video.